good welcome to our youtube channel today and we are going to speak more about russia as you know that i've been living in russia for some times and i'm trying to meet russians and speak with them and today with me is maria she's a beautiful girl and she speaks many languages too yeah do you speak swahili which swahili word do you know uh, <laughs> so, Hakuna Matata is like, people know it worldwide and, do you know the, what's the meaning of Hakuna Matata? Yes. No, tell me. Everything's okay. Everything is okay. So, we used to uh, say, I want to tell you a story about this Hakuna Matata. You know, we used this word in Kenya, yeah, and people speaking Swahili. So, the word... It, it gives, uh, it's used to give people courage, sometimes courage, somebody, sometimes you want to just show somebody that you don't care what's going through in your life. Like, I might be, uh, sometimes I don't have money, yeah, things are tough, but I ask you, you tell me, I don't have the answer, you know? everything will be fine, yeah, so it's like giving somebody courage, the pressure, yeah. So most Russians use it and most people speak it and they don't know anything at all. They just use it for for fun. But I hope today you know it. So apart from Akuna Matata, which word do you use in Russian? How do you use to motivate somebody in Russia? In Russian it's the same um Yeah. <laughs> There's not everything okay, but uh, we say it because um, we don't um, we don't want uh, uh, that our um, family, uh, our family, our family members uh, um, uh, so um, sad about us that uh, we, we are not success in uh, something. So we say that everything okay. Everything is okay. So see you. <laughs> so if you come to Russia and somebody tells you so normal so just take the energy and appreciate the life because life is short and you have to appreciate everything you have so today we are appreciating being here with Mary, uh, with Mary and enjoying and sharing more about Russia good so do you like or uh, do you love movies? Yes, but I don't have any time to watch uh, more movies. Mm -hmm. um, I can watch uh, TV, more movies uh, once a week, once a uh, month maybe. That's all. And do you know about fiction movies? Do you think they're good for us? Uh, for us, uh, for who? Mm -hmm. Fiction movies. Do you, do you think they are good movies for people to watch? Uh, I know some some of them. Uh, for example, uh, uh, do you know a serial called uh, Black Mirror? Uh, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Uh, serial. Yes. I watch them. It's um, um, something uh, science fiction. Do you want to say serial? Um, it's, it's the main, uh, um, it's the main meaning of this uh, film is uh, uh, our nowadays um, reality, uh, problems of uh, our reality. For example, uh, now uh, we can uh, uh, we can have chips in our heads, and uh, some people have. Um, uh, some devices to control uh, us, control. and uh, uh, 
they, they can um, know everything that uh, we have, that we need, what uh, we do. Uh, it's a total control. <laughs> it's so scary. So interesting. <laughs> so, I think I, we should watch the movie that you like. Yes, somebody um, like comedy, somebody like uh, action films. Uh, so uh, I can, I like uh, to watch um, films with um, so deep uh, meaning and plots. Mm, sometimes comedy. If there's everything not okay. <laughs> no, if I know that uh, because. If I don't watch comedies, I don't watch uh, fiction movies, then everything will be fine. <laughs> so, tell me, what did you do last summer? Mm, I have a lot of things that I did last, last summer. I uh, went to see uh, Black Sea Swimming, uh, painted uh, oil pictures. Um, I have uh, about uh, 30 oil pictures. So um, well, I paint um, my pictures uh, on, on holidays, uh, winter and summer holidays. Uh, so what? Read book. Went uh, visited my current mother and uh, other relatives uh, who lives uh, in another region. Uh, I. I think you know <laughs> what's the region. The region. Yeah, I know. And uh, tell me, many people wonder why is the this sea called black? Is it is it really black or why is it called black sea? Black sea? Yeah, tell us the reason why it's called black sea. Mm, I think uh, uh, one of the worst, one uh, of the worst is um, uh, some people uh, who want uh, to call. Uh, the sea by Black Sea. Uh, they uh, went to the sea uh, where the weather was not so good. Um, there was uh, uh, bad weather, it was a cloud, lot of like clouds, cloudy. Yes. Yeah. yes. So that's the reason uh, to call it uh, Black Sea, but um, I think maybe uh, I'm wrong. There are any other versions? I don't know. Okay. Do you have some historic events that took place in, in this Black Sea? Events? Uh, in 2002 events? I, I don't know. Some things like uh, we know. In, there are, uh, in history, uh, in history, there are some uh, um, battles uh, from between the uh, Russian Empire and uh, Osman Empire um, called um, Turkey. There are some battles, um, and uh, s now uh, in Russia there are some places um, which uh, earlier were um, in Turkey. Uh, uh, earlier were um, Turkish places, but now it's Russian. So, which part of Black Sea can you advise somebody to travel to and enjoy life? Uh, I just uh, can uh, advise. Um, uh, Russian part of Black Sea because uh, I uh, I have uh, I haven't uh, been to Turkey yet. So uh, in Russia, uh, Black, Black Sea, uh, I can advise um, such uh, towns, uh, places like uh, Adler, Sochi, Sochi. Um, Anapa is my favorite um, town. Mm. Dimnomorsk. I like the place. I was there once in, in spring, but I didn't take time to swim because water was too cold and I, I couldn't get time to swim. When? Oh, spring? Yeah, in spring. Oh, yes, in spring it's too cold, but if you uh, go to the sea in summer, it's, it's okay. It's cold. Yeah, last time too I was there, but I was. I was still trying to get the meaning of why it was called Black Sea, but history has everything. Mm -hmm. So, are you black?
planning to go back there in this summer? Now, I don't know. Uh, I need to prepare uh, exams. Uh, and, uh, I have fun. in summer, in uh, July and in August. So, after your exams? Uh, uh, after my exams, I need to, to move to uh, another city to start uh, another education. Ah. Uh, it's, uh, now it's a bachelor and then it's a master's. master's yes. So, what's your future profession? Uh, my profession is uh, called uh, in diploma. It's, uh, it will be called uh, orientalist and Africanist. Africanist? Yes. So, I hope with time you travel to Africa too. But uh, our profession uh, does not um, uh, call to, um, about us that uh, we need to go to Africa. Uh, we just can um, go to China, uh, Japan, Korea, for example. Okay. So they include. Okay, so you will travel to. I thought you you have to travel to Africa too. I don't know. I uh, I thought that in Africa it's so uh, dangerous. <laughs> in, in Africa, in Africa we have just akuna matata. <laughs> so. Well, maybe uh, because in our Russian, uh, um, our Russian books for children, there are some uh, stories about. Uh, some children uh, went to Africa and uh, they uh, meet this uh, crocodile alligator, for example, uh, and we have uh, some famous, uh, uh, famous paragraphs from this book. Uh, I can uh, tell you in Russian. So, so, you understand, don't go with your kids to Africa for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> but so, you have to get to know that it's just a story. Africa is a good place and you will enjoy. You can do anything you like in Africa. You can swim, you can sit on a crocodile and you swim around. You understand? You can sit on lions. Is it true? You can sit on lions. Do you like, do you like lions? I like lions, but uh, uh, I think we can't uh, sit on lions. <laughs> So, like, when you hear that someone is from Africa, what comes into your mind? What have you, what have you had people talk, saying about Africa? I don't know because uh, um, my. My relatives, my friends, uh, uh, none, none of them uh, went to Africa and uh, none of them uh, I talked to them about uh, Africa. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So, I hope next time if I'm traveling back to Africa or I'm traveling to Africa, I will travel with you and give you the real experience <laughs> and give you the real experience of Africa. So that if you go back, if you come back to Russia, then you'll have you'll give people the true picture of Africa. Are you willing to? But which part of Africa? Because uh, okay. in Africa there are some regions. Uh, uh, in the places there is uh, war. War, yeah. But in my country, Central or uh, Central and uh, East Africa and South Africa is cool. So you can enjoy yourself, you can swim in this. About South Africa. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, about South Africa. Now I write my um, qualifying work about BRICS. Uh, and uh, in BRICS, there is one African country called South Africa. So South Africa. I know about South Africa. Yeah. Something. South Africa is one of, so one of the biggest uh, country in Africa. And it's from the north. Oh, sorry, sorry, the south. And people really like going there. 
because it's mostly dominated by blacks and whites and yeah so if you want to travel to africa too you can go to south africa you can go to kenya kenya is my, my mother country so next time i will ensure that i go with you there and you see it. okay you thank you for your invite deal deal <laughs> <laughs> So it's a deal, okay. So you've seen it's a deal. So if you see me, if you see me in Africa or in Kenya with Mary, don't ask question why. We have made a deal now. <laughs> so you've made a deal. So we'll go to Africa together. Okay. Okay. So in Africa, you don't carry, don't carry your jacket. Okay. Yeah. Don't carry jacket. Only you have to carry no oh, sneakers. Yeah, don't carry leg warmers. Yeah, I'll give you the list of all things that you need to carry when going to Africa. And you can carry some big ice, you know, ice cream. I didn't know. It might be hot, but not hot as Russian summer. Yeah. Okay. But uh, what about temperature? Oh. And especially in summer. In, in Africa, we don't have summer. But like here in Russia, the temperature in summer is, is very, very high. Oh no, I can't go to Africa here because uh, I can't uh, have, uh, I can't... <laughs> okay. Don't be afraid, I know. Hakuna matter, you know. That's why you, you huh? every time say Hakuna matter. You know, it's, there's, nothing, there's nothing impossible to achieve. You understand? Yeah. So. Deal? Deal? Good. So, guys, I've, you have listened and you have watched my video. Please subscribe and share for more videos it was great having maria and get to know that we have made a deal tell the kenyans and people who are watching this video anything they would like to hear tell them anything they love to hear i love you all <laughs> <laughs> good goodbye yeah, thank Bye. you